Updating and editing your engine website is easy. Let's look at the basics. When you first sign up and create a website, you'll have something like this automatically generated for you. Now, how do you place your own content and customize the website? Well, let's start with quickly editing the modules already on your site. These boxes here are modules. For example, I could see the news module here, gallery slideshow up here, shop box here, and calendar over here. I'll start by editing the news module. Hover over Site Admin and click on Quick Edit. You'll notice Edit link appear above each module. Now I'll click on the Edit above the news so I can add my own content and change the text here. A pop-up to edit the module will appear. So as you can see here, this is the admin area for the news and blog. Other modules will have their own admin area that looks something like this. Here's where to add the news post. I'll add a title here. And type something here for our news. Then I set the commenting permissions for this post to registered users and create the post. Now let's refresh the browser to see my post. There it is. So that's how to quickly edit any module on your website. Now let's take a look at moving your modules around. I'd like to move the shop box from here to go down here below the calendar. To edit the layout of this page, we'll need to go to the layout editor. Hover over the site admin on top left and click on edit page layout. Here we are in the page editor, where I'll easily grab this container that has my shop box in it and drag it over and drop it right below calendar. Now let's view the page, and you can see my shop box is below the calendar. Now I'm going to show you how to add a new page. I'm missing a forms page, so I'll create that now. So let's see, I have home, members, gallery, events, recruitment, chat, and contact us. You can click on these links to get to your pages. So click on the gallery, there's my gallery page, events, there's my events page, and recruitment, there's my recruitment page. You can see your list of pages by editing the layout and clicking on page list. So here's the layout editor. Go to page list. You'll see my list of pages. To create a new page, go to new page, type out the page name, choose the column and the URL, which is the address of the page. And I want to add this to the top menu and view access will be to registered users only. It's not my home page, so I won't check the box. And let's create the page. You'll see it's created. Click on it to edit the page. You'll see it's empty with nothing on it. I'll set the top area to global top one. Now we need to add a container. A container is really just like an empty box. Now I have two empty boxes where I can add my form module. First, let me set the container settings. This container or box has a title or a name. We'll call it Forms. You can also put a small footer title on the box that will show on the bottom, but we'll uncheck that for now. Now let's add the Forum module to the container. Select the Forum module and add module. Over in this column of the page, I'll add latest thread module. So users can easily see what the latest posts are. Add the module. Let's find the latest thread module here. Scroll down, there's latest threads. Select the latest thread, add module. While we're here, I want to add a module that tracks my visitors and shows me a graph of my hits, a hit counter. So let's add another empty container. It'll appear below. So I have to drag and drop the empty box to the top and edit the settings. This time I don't want a title on it. Now to add the module called Hit Counter. This time I'll create a new module and call it New Hit Counter. 
select it, and add. Let's see the page we've just created. There I have forums on the link. There's my forums. There's the latest threads, and there's my hint counter. Now I want to change the order of my menu and put forums as a second link. The menu is actually just a module, so I would edit it just like any other module. Hover over Site Admin, click on Quick Edit, and click the Edit above the menu. A pop-up appears and you can see the list of menu items. Hover over Forms and you get the option to move and remove the link. Grab the Move icon and drag and drop it under Home. This module auto saves, so now you can close it off. Refresh the browser and Forms is now the second link on the menu. Thanks for watching.